Plesiosaurs were a group of aquatic marine reptiles that dominated the oceans during the age of the dinosaurs. They lived from the late Triassic around 200 million years ago, up until the Cretaceous Paleogene, or KPG, mass extinction around 66 million years ago, and became one of the dominant marine predators of the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. They belong to the clade Plesiosaura idea, and more than a hundred species of this group have been discovered so far. From the small 3 meter long Leptocletus, to the massive nearly 12 meter long Albertonectus, plesiosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. They were characterized by their long neck, which on certain species could reach up to 7 meters in length, and their four large wing-like flippers. They lived in a wide range of environments from nearshore estuaries to the open ocean, and some even lived in freshwater habitats. Plesiosaurs can be divided into two major groups based on differences in head and neck size. One group, the Plesiosaur morphs, had long necks and small heads, while the other group, the Pliosaur morphs, had shorter necks with a large, elongated head. Those with longer necks could have as many as 76 vertebrae in their necks, while the short-necked varieties could go as low as 11 bones. Their flippers were highly adapted for efficient swimming, with a flattened and fussy form shaped that reduced drag. The bones in the plesiosaur flipper were arranged in such a way as to maximize the power generated by the muscles, while minimizing the amount of energy required to maintain their position in the water. This allowed the plesiosaur to swim for long periods of time without tiring. Their tails were short but large and well-developed, with the presence of a skin fin at the end of the tail suggesting that while their primary means of locomotion were their flippers, their tails were still helpful and played an important role in their movement underwater. They were aquatic air breathers, meaning while they swam and fed underwater, they had to rise to the surface to breathe. While they probably had several lung adaptations to account for, their body shape and lifestyle, it is difficult to obtain much evidence from the fossil record. Plesiosaurs were apex predators, primarily piscivores, meaning they fed on fish. However, preserved stomach contents show that they were also capable of consuming other small marine animals, such as squid and crustaceans, depending on the availability of their preferred prey. Early theories of their hunting and feeding strategies were based on the idea that their neck was fairly flexible. Modern studies have shown that their necks were actually fairly rigid. Based on this new hypothesis, were suggested with it being possible that the long-necked plesiosaur morphs may have used their small heads and the long necks to cause a hydrodynamic and optical camouflage effect, preventing school of fish from recognizing the plesiosaur as a large predator. It could also have extended their feeding range by letting them reach into areas too narrow for other large marine predators. Like inside tight crevices or along narrow reefs, the short-necked pliosaur morphs, on the other hand, were ambush or pursued predators, and probably hunted larger prey with a morphology suited for fast swimming speed. The variety in their skull size may have reflected the difference in types of animals they preyed upon. For example, species with long, narrow snouts may have specialized in hunting smaller, fast-moving prey, while species with wide, robust jaws may have hunted larger, slow-moving prey. Their teeth varied in number and shape depending on the species. Some had hundreds of needle-like teeth, while others had larger, conical teeth. The teeth of some pliosaurs are unusually curved backwards, suggesting they were used to pull struggling prey into the mouth. Soft tissue fossils of plesiosaurs are quite rare, but more and more examples have been uncovered over time. These fossils contain actual remnants of skin, muscles, and other organs, which provide a unique glimpse into the biology of the plesiosaur. This has allowed scientists to study the plesiosaur's skin texture and pigmentation, muscle structure, and is the reason scientists know about the skin fin at the end of their tails. Their method of reproduction remained a source of mystery for quite a long time. Modern reptiles are generally egg-laying, so it was thought for a long time that plesiosaurs may have crawled up on a beach to lay eggs, like turtles. With their size being what it was, 
there was contention on whether or not the largest species could even move on land after a beaching. Support for egg-laying hypothesis finally dried up when in the late 1980s a fossil was discovered of a pregnant female plesiosaur. The most likely explanation from the fossil was that the plesiosaurs gave birth to a single large juvenile and probably invested parental care in their offspring, similar to modern whales. Not much is known about the social behavior of these creatures. The evidence that they gave live birth seems to suggest that they shared behavioral traits with modern animals like whales, such as maternal care and social behavior. Their relative brain size seems to be typical for reptiles. It is unknown if they were solitary hunters or hunted in packs. The ancient oceans of the Mesoic era were much different from the oceans of today. The plesiosaur lived in a world of high nutrient, low oxygen waters with diverse marine faunas, including many other large marine reptiles, such as ichthyosaurs, mosasaurs, and pliosaurs. Despite the competition from these other marine reptiles, the plesiosaur was able to adapt and thrive in its environment, evolving into various species with diverse morphologies, lifestyles, and niches. Unfortunately, the plesiosaur went extinct along with the dinosaurs and many other species at the end of the Cretaceous period 66 million years ago. This mass extinction was caused by a massive asteroid impact, which triggered a series of environmental changes, including global wildfires, massive tsunamis, and a drastic change in the Earth's climate. The post-extinction oceans were much different from the ancient oceans the plesiosaur once lived in. The oceans became oxygen-rich and less nutrient-dense, and marine reptiles, including the plesiosaur, were unable to adapt to these new conditions and went extinct. Today, the oceans are dominated by a different group of marine animals, such as whales, dolphins, sharks, and sea turtles. Although plesiosaur is no longer with us, its fossils serve as a reminder of the amazing creatures that once roamed the ancient oceans and inspire us to continue exploring and learning about our planet's rich geological and biological history. Despite all of these recent discoveries, there is still so much we don't know about the plesiosaur, but scientists continue to study these fascinating creatures. We can only hope that new breakthroughs will shed even more light on this ancient species. So next time you come across a plesiosaur exhibit, take a moment to appreciate this remarkable creature and its many adaptations for life in the ocean. What are your thoughts on the plesiosaur? Did I miss any key details? Let me know below. If you enjoyed the video, please take a second and hit that like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching.